Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime on top of that get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it again free for annual and lifetime members of MIC. If you are interested in signing up and attending this event, DM tbradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, today we have a very special video for you guys as one of our head moderators, Joe Kelly, who puts together his weekly Sunday video series on trading basics has graced us with yet another video. This week, he talks about greedy trading and basic tape reading. While today's video is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. All right, so this is day one of MBY. We had a gap up in pre-market from $0.31. Cents. They had a catalyst uh, that was apparently that their drug uh, was available for sale now on Amazon. We had a big gap up pre-market and at the open in this particular setup, I actually shorted at the open as you can see on my screen there and I was shorting the pops as they were rejecting that 132 level and my risk on this was 132 and I took a little off um, as you can see for a small profit, I think 10 cents a share and then I covered the rest uh, the rest of it almost dead bottom right there and I left a small piece just in case it continued to fade for the day but when it reclaimed uh, 110 I took off the trade and then I let it set up for further for further continuation and I was looking for the 350 level and so we didn't quite get it um, during the uh, midday times between 1130 and so so I was watching for this late day to make a um, a big push and fill that gap right here. There's a gap from the halts. And so there was a gap here up to, I think it was like two eighties or something like that. It's really hard to tell on these charts. These charts are really bad. So here we are gap up and we're halted again. You can see how quick those happen. So now I've got my order waiting at 347. Now here is where my greed kicks in. Um, this has been my single biggest struggle as a trader for the longest time. Um, I am very, very greedy when I catch a top like that. Um, and I have a decent average. You know, for me, 60 cents a share of risk um, is not really that bad in this particular scenario because it could haul all the way back down to 180s, maybe 170s, and then you know your you, the, the risk reward is there completely. So here on the left, you can see me getting my range orders ready. So I want it to. Let me just explain this order really quick. I want to short at 347, and as soon as I short at 347, the rest of my position. It'll bring my average way up, and I should end up with about a 320s, 330s average if I get that fill. And I'm going to stop at 361 or a penny above the high, and I want a target of at least 197. So when I click send orders, those two orders are going to go live. This order on the bottom will not trigger until the top order executes. So I have to get filled at 347 in order for this range order to go in to effect. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.